The Idea Collective Retreat is something that really hasn't been done before. So we decided, you know what? Small business owners deserve a weekend away to work on their business, not in their business. That's the vision behind the Idea Collective Retreat. It's going to be at the Grand Geneva Resort, and it features some major keynote speakers. We're bringing in Mel Robbins to anchor the entire event. She's our virtual keynote speaker, number one most requested speaker when we talked with our guests. Also, Jesse Cole, who is breaking the sports marketing industry. He's the owner of the Savannah Bananas, and he's going to teach you how to put your fans first and grow your business. All of this at the Grand Geneva Resort would not be possible if it wasn't for the belief of our big time sponsors. And we're bringing on one of our big time sponsors now to talk about it. Megan Schwan from Sidekick Accounting. She's helping us make it happen. So first of all, thank you, Megan. And how have you been? Good. Thanks, Pat. I'm excited to be here and excited to be part of um, the, the retreat and um, doing well. Uh, it's been a crazy couple of months for me, but uh, we're making it. So <laughs> well, That's great. I'm glad things are going well. And we want to learn about Sidekick Accounting. We also want to learn why you're involved in the retreat. So let's start at the beginning. If someone doesn't know Sidekick Accounting, tell us about the business. Sure. Yeah, so Sidekick Accounting, we've been in business for almost eight years. It'll be eight years in January. And we help business owners understand and use their numbers. Um, most business owners know how to do what they're doing, but they don't understand the number piece or how that affects the operations of their business. So we put a lot of emphasis on not just crunching the numbers, but really helping our owners understand what those numbers mean so that they can start making better operational decisions in their business to be more profitable and successful companies. And let's, so. let's talk about that. So if someone all of a sudden learns what the real numbers are, what are some of the outcomes of that? How does it make them feel and what happens when they know down to the penny where their money's at? Um, I think it helps them to uh, feel safer in their business and in their decision making, so more confident. Um, it also gives them more power to make the right decisions for their business. Um, every decision really goes back to your numbers. Um, so if you are able to look at that data, not only are you able to see the numbers where they are, but then you're also able to make decisions based on the data. So it's a more confident decision-making process. And then you know what changes need to be made in order to reach your goals. You know, maybe you're not priced right, or maybe you're spending more than you should in certain areas. So it really gives you that ability to be more in control of your business and your future. So I think that's really what gives business owners a lot of good feelings when it comes to their numbers is being able to have that, that ability and that power to make those decisions. Being the founder of the Idea Collective, I get to talk with a bunch of different business owners. But when I think on this year and last year, the business owners that really took the ball and ran with it and grew their business, you're like at the top of this list. You're doing so well with the business. And one of the reasons why I think you're doing so well is you're you're doing a lot of content where you're showing people uh, what they need to know and you educate them as they consider using the business. So what are some of the things that you would say most small business owners don't really understand when it comes to accounting and their money? Um, I think just the whole of uh, the numbers aspect makes people really uneasy, like the taxes and numbers, especially if that's not your background. It just makes people like uh, really uneasy. So they avoid it. <laughs> so they don't even want to deal with it or, they know that they're supposed to look at their reports, but they don't really know what to do after that. Um, and I think that's what happens a lot of times with businesses, is, um, business owners, is just not, not having that, that knowledge of what to do next when it comes to their, their finances or how to be proactive in their numbers um, or even how to plan by using them. So I think just all the kind of things combined is really what um, can sometimes uh, be intimidating for business owners and that's what gives them the leg up when they do start understanding more of that is really getting to that next point, uh, next level of business. Yeah. So. Clarity, clarity and confidence is priceless. There's no doubt about yes. that. But one of the things that people have a hard time with, even if they know where their numbers are, is how to deal with taxes. So how do you help people with taxes? Um, so we are pretty um, proactive in terms of how we deal with business owners. So we 
do tax preparation, which of course is after the fact, um, you know, like in January for the previous year, but we also do tax planning, which is the proactive side of things. So what we're doing before December 31st. And the way that we go about doing that is by looking at the tax laws and the legal strategies available for business owners and how they can implement that in their business and on their taxes to be able to save money legally um, and typically put money in their pocket for different things so that they can start using that money instead of paying the government to invest in their future or into their families or you know back into their business. So it's really been a really amazing experience to be able to offer that to business owners that are able to save like the big guys like Trump and Bezos, you know, using some of those legal strategies, but for regular people. And I think that's the part that I really love being able to do with that is how helping business owners be more proactive, but also use the things that are available, the resources in the tax law that are available so that they can start being more strategic about their taxes and what happens after that. So and this that is a good is. example of how you're growing. So your business will help people with their taxes, but you're giving some information to folks through a tax challenge in early December. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Yep. So our tax prep ready challenge is going to run December 6th through the 10th. Um, and we are going to spend a little bit of time each day talking about what to have ready for taxes, what deductions you can take, what are some of the updates for this coming tax year, um, and then also start looking at what are some of those things that you can start doing proactively in your business for future tax seasons as well? Because I believe that a successful business owner is proactive. And I think that's usually the case. You've got to be proactive in your business, proactive in your thinking, in your finances, in your marketing, in your conversations, and uh, in your taxes, especially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when you have that information, you can take action. And speaking of action, you're probably the second person I called when I announced the retreat. And you acted right away. You were ready to have Sidekick Accounting be one of our partners. And just literally for the record, we could not be doing this without you. So first of all, thank you for your partnership. I really appreciate it because we're going to change so many people's lives through this weekend. So when I called, why did you accept and why are you a part of the Idea Collective Retreat? Oh, geez, so many reasons. I mean, it's an honor to be part of something like this because, um, because of that reason, because it is going to help so many business owners. And I mean, that's really what our mission is at Sidekick Accounting is to help transform small business owners so that, or small businesses, so that the statistic isn't eight out of 10 small businesses fail. That's currently the statistic with some movement, depending on who you're talking to, but that's the WIBIC one <laughs> statistic. And when I heard that, it just kind of floored me. So our mission has always been to help businesses grow and be profitable and successful businesses because it is so much of people's livelihood, generally speaking. So most people work or have their business to provide for their families. And the Idea Collective, um, you know, you and how you reacted during the pandemic last year and just like started giving. And it was just like so much giving to small business owners and providing a community in a time when everybody kind of felt alone, I think, and scared and, you know, just like not sure what to do. And so just Having, um, you know, that, that support, that level of support and education and, um, and, and support again, because it's really what it is, is such a huge thing as a business owner. And um, when you told me, you know, about the retreat and being part of it, I just, I had to jump on it because it's just, it's what small business owners need. Like it can get really lonely being a small business owner and kind of isolating and you feel like you're the only one going through certain things. But in reality, you're not. We're all kind of in the same boat, trying to trying to do the same kind of things to grow our own businesses. And having that community of people is like an ama amazing thing to do. So I had to be a part of it because I love what you're doing and what you did and um, are continuing to do. So I was like, I, I need to be part of this. <laughs> so that is why. <laughs> yes. That's brilliant. And it hits on the theme of the Idea Collective as a whole, which is don't grow it alone. So you're giving right. uh, through your business, but also giving to others inside the community and helping us make the retreat a reality. It's early November. If you want to learn more about it, hit up smallbizretreat.com. And of course, if you want to learn more about Megan and her amazing business, sidekick-accounting.com. So sidekick, and there's a hyphen in there, accounting.com. Uh, she's helping people know their numbers and act confident 
independently and she's doing a great job. Megan Schwan, it's great to see you. I'll see you at the retreat and thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Excited to be part of it. <laughs>